Hey guys, welcome to this extra credit video uh, inside the UMG inventory uh, video series. I uh, wanted to show you one thing uh, as a little bit of an extra credit. Uh, our project is fully functional. We can do everything that we wanted to do, everything that we've set out to do inside of our inventory. We can pick up and use items and all kinds of stuff. There's one thing that I noticed uh, towards the end of the last video that I wanted to fix. So I figured we'd do an extra credit video on it to show you how you could fix it if you would like. Uh, and that is if we shoot currently inside of our level here, our projectiles are hitting our invisible collision. So I kind of want to fix that and I was going to show you really quickly how you can do that. So uh, to do this, what we're going to need to create is a custom collision channel. So let's go up to the Edit menu, and under Project Settings, uh, we're going to go down to the Collision section under Engine here. So click Collision, and if you click this, uh, expand this option here next to Preset, here are all the default preset options uh, that come standard with the editor for setting up collision channels. Uh, we need to create our own. So we're going to go up to the Object Channels up here and create a new Object Channel. And we're going to name it Projectile. So just Projectile, like so. And the default response that we want for this is set to Block, which is currently what we want. So let's hit Accept. And once we do so, it's going to add it as our object channel here. Now we can close this. It automatically saves it to the default engine I and I. So I'm going to close this. You don't need, need to do anything else on it. But now if we go to our pickups, so if we go to our template pickup, we've created multiple of them, so we're going to have to do this for each of them. But we'll start out with the template pickup here. So go ahead and double click, open it up. And if we select our trigger volume in the components uh, panel, and we go over to the details panel, scroll down, find the collision section. Under collision presets here, go ahead and expand that. And you can see all the way down at the bottom, there is our projectile a custom collision uh, channel that we added. It's currently set to block. So if we click this drop down and change this to custom, we can then define how we want uh, each of these responses to be handled. For projectiles, we want to ignore them. So we're going to go to the ignore column and click the ignore uh, option here. So I'm going to hit compile and save and close this blueprint. I'm going to do the same thing for the other blueprint that I created because we created this at, uh, before we made this change, so that change didn't get copied over. So I'm going to select my trigger again, scroll down, set this to custom, and again set our projectile to ignore. And then compile and save and close. Now we can verify this on our projectile, our projectile blueprint here. If we double click and open it up, and we go to the projectile uh, movement component here, or not the projectile, the collision component. If we over look over in the details panel, we should see that our object type has been specified as a projectile. If it has not, click the drop down, make sure that it is set to a projectile. Uh, and with that, we can close this. Uh, if you change the object type to projectile, be sure to compile and save. Uh, and then if we close this, now when we play, inside our level here. Now our projectiles pass through our trigger. So that is a little bit better than hitting an invisible collision. So that's all I wanted to show uh, in this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching this short video uh, on updating and adding your own collision channels. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.